All right, I'm sitting here on the couch. I'm sitting here next to the Christmas tree. That's probably the best thing that we got going on right now. 35-10, fourth quarter. Looking at less than eight minutes left. Didn't get to watch a lot of this game because we went to the local Christmas tree lighting here in Rancho Cordova. It would have been a fun game to watch because of the snow, but this is just an ugly, ugly affair. Um, we have been beaten up and uh, bruised by the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen, career day. Uh, I believe he's got uh, two passing touchdowns, a rushing touchdown, and a receiving touchdown on the day. Bills just ran back the punt. that We got saved because there was a flag. But overall, this is just an ugly, ugly game. And even in, like, the fourth quarter in... I guess we're in garbage time because they put Trubitsky in. I mean, just, I, I, I don't know. We weren't ready. They're showing us having follies in the snow, um, just slipping and falling, dropping the ball, Purdy trying to throw the ball, the ball slipping out. Debo's fumble. Um, lucky that was returned by us. But uh, even on that last play where it was third, I don't know what the, the yardage we needed was, but like Purdy threw it right over the middle to Debo, and uh, he just didn't catch the ball. We can make excuses. We can, you know, I don't think we can really point fingers, but I mean, like, I don't know, for a team that I really thought had a chance to, to win it all, we ain't winning nothing. And right now we're five and six, moving to five and seven. We're going to play the Bears, the Rams, the Dolphins, the Lions, and the Cardinals. Realistically, I think we have a shot at really winning one of those games. We dig down deep, we can win four of those games. We can finish the season with nine wins, I guess, is, is, is our goal as of right now. Nine wins in the West. With some luck, maybe we can make the playoffs. But um, you always want to make the playoffs. I was going to say, what's the point? But I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. It just, it just was bad all over. At this point, I just want to get to the end and just figure out where we go from here. Obviously, we're going to pay Purdy. And the way the NFL works is when you pay guys like that, and especially with us paying as many guys as we're paying already, what's it going to do to our team? What are what what positions are we going to have to to skimp on? What what stars are going to leave us? What semi stars are going to leave us? What like the heart of the team guys are we going to lose? Um, just to, you know, really keep those star players. You know, so many teams, you see, so many times you see teams, once they sign a few guys for big money to keep their, their big position guys, it just doesn't stay. You need guys to sort of be team guys, and they don't need to be the top paid at their position. They just got to get there. Kittle, I feel bad for. I mean, that's a guy that's got to be, you know, just – gutted on the inside McCaffrey went down with um didn't really say what it was but it was a non-contact uh, uh uh injury um he really just started running with the ball and just fell down on his own got immediately up and then ran right off of the field um went right into the tent obviously he knows his body better better than anybody Hopefully it's not something too risky, dangerous with uh, the hamstring. Hopefully it's something that, um, you know, just needs a little bit of rest and they're going to go. We're playing on Sunday. Then we're playing on Thursday. Um, Bears and then Rams. Um, I mean, it was good that Jordan Mason got to run the football. It was good that Isaac Guerrero... Um, got in the end zone um, with the rushing touchdown. But um, there's a good chance that we finish this just dog shit ugly. And there ain't no other way to say it. But, uh, I mean, they're taking it easy on us. 35-10 in the fourth. You know, them putting Mitch in. Mitch, it was a good quarterback. 
kind of really surprised that he went back to Buffalo. I really, you know, just thought he was a guy that was penciled in that would have been a great backup in San Francisco. Um, we went out and got two other guys. We weren't able to win last week. Um, and then I don't, uh, Dobbs was number two today, probably because the injury um, to, to Allen with his hand. He, had, he started the game with a brace, which basically shows you like how good Dobbs, they really think he is. But um, I don't know. Mitch always thought was going to be really scary with the Bears. And um, because of the fact that we helped the Bears pick him by uh, trading down for them to pick him. That, that, that still makes no sense. They had the number three. We had the number two. Did they really think that we were going to, to pick him? We got, we I mean, we already had a quarterback. I mean, why would you you know take another one? I guess maybe they were just scared that we would trade the pick to somebody else, not being in love with who we were going to pick at number three. And um, it is what it is. But the snow's coming down. I mean, I watched them. Plowed that thing all day long. They they cleared the field like seven times. Um, early in the afternoon, and they were you know having people come in there and start shoveling seats. I heard that you can get seats for as low as like thirty bucks to get into this game because the people of Buffalo didn't even want to go there um, in these conditions to cheer on their team. But um, there's five minutes left, and this is still ugly. That's it. 35-10. Hopefully it's the finish. They're driving. Um, they're on the other side of the 50. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they put them up. I feel, you know, you know, Mason. Hopefully he can he can finish this this uh this year strong. Fred Warner in the defense. Honestly, I feel I feel bad for him. Chefarius Ward makes his return today. Sad, sad story about that. But um, we just got to figure it out. I really don't like the Bears reporters coming out saying that Shanahan's like the leading candidate. Well, today came out that um, the guy, Kling, Cliff Klingsbury, the guy that was in Arizona, put together a pretty good team and then it just hit the wall. Um, with with Kyler Murray, um, I guess he's the front runner now. But that's scary that you know people in other cities, where other teams think that we're going to be firing our coach at the end of this year. Where we go from there, I don't really know. I mean, it's not like Harbaugh is walking in the door. It's not like we're going to be hiring Billichek. I don't know who they think the next great. Niner coach is going to be. That's scary. I don't know, man. This sucks. Two minutes. Let's get this done.